Good morning, chefs. How's it going? And welcome to Sweet Willie's Kitchen. I'm Bill Hunter, but they call me Sweet Willie. And on this wonderful 4th of July weekend, we did some hamburgers at the beginning of the weekend. So let's uh, finish off the weekend with a good breakfast. And so today, what we're going to do for breakfast, we're going to do waffles. And we're also going to try out a little gift that Daddy, Daddy, Mommy and Gracie sent me. He gave you. Gave me. Mommy and Gracie gave me for Father's Day a Mickey Mouse waffle maker. So today we're going to A, see how this works, and B, make waffles with it. So, yeah. so we'll see what we've got here. Waffle and here's our waffle mix. But first, let's open this thing this up. This is a bowl that we've had for years. And so let's open this up and we will see. Make waffles. Make waffles with well, this thing. Food. So, we got there. And it's out of the box. That was really easy. That's really easy. So what we'll do is we'll read the instructions as always. It's like a waffle maker, but instead of a normal waffle pattern, it's making space. So what we'll do is we'll open this up. And like Gracie said, it's not like a Belgian waffle maker, but it has the face Let's take the paper out so we don't of Mickey. Okay. Now these are loaded. If anybody has ever uh, gone to any of the Disney resorts, uh, Chef Mickey's and stuff, they have these great Belgian waffles. They're about this big with the Mickey heads. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a mix together and we're going to see how this works. So uh, we'll be back in a moment. And we're back. So we've got our makings for our waffle mix. We're going to use a major brand that is uh, the original complete pancake mix. And she also makes syrup, but and this will also have a waffle recipe on it. So here's the waffle maker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in. We're using the remote studios. We're not in the kitchen yet. That's a few months off. So what we do is we'll start up the we're not uh, in the official sweet Boom's kitchen yet. We'll oh, yeah. we'll start up the uh, waffle iron. All right, stay clear of that. It will get warm. Do but in the meantime, it. what we're going to do is we'll do the mix. Like so the according to the mix instructions, we are going to use two cups of the mix and then we're going to have two... Oh, I'm out of pancake yeah, mix. Yeah, well, we're fine. All right. Two, two cups of mix. That's some. One and a half cups of water. One and a half cups, and then a half a cup of oil. I'm going to use canola oil, because canola oil will tend to uh, not burn as quick as, say, vegetable or olive. Okay, so let's get this opened up. It's a half a cup. Like I said, we're just... Also make sure to get parents' permission before making waffles. Well, this is something that uh, the parents and the children can do together, so there we go. There's not a thing for that to be on there. All right. Whisk. And get this mixed up. To... And what we want to do is get this mixed up to a nice consistency. It looks a little too runny. Yeah, well, if it's a little too runny, you add a little more mix. <laughs> Just a little bit, because... You don't want to have it too chunky. That's right. No one wants a chunky waffle. We'll keep this going. Still a little runny, so we'll add a little bit more mix. And I think... Are you tilting it so they can see what runny and whatever looks like? All right, let's see. Mm. Tilting that might be a little runnier, so let's add a little more. A little more. And I think, I think we're there now. I think we're there now. See that? So that's nice and smooth. So the mix already has baking soda in it so that'll help it rise so what you want to do is let the batter rest a little bit for about four or five minutes in the meantime the iron is going to be uh getting warmed up so we've got five minutes so we're going to set our handy tandy timer 
Everybody knows about this thing from the uh, cheeseburger video. So we're going to set this for one, two, three, four, five minutes. Okay. We're going to let the, we're going to let the uh, batter rest. We're going to let the uh, iron come up to heat. And in five minutes, we'll see you later. And we're back five minutes later. I forgot to mention something. And I uh, hope uh, this doesn't mess things up. But uh, those of you who like butter on your waffles, uh, now is a good time to take the butter out to let it get up to temperature because uh, nothing is worse than hard butter and trying to spread it on your pancakes and your waffles. It gets it all messed up. So uh, I would take the butter out now, uh, let that get up to temperature. If not, I think I got a, a quick little hack for that when, when the time comes. So we've got a warm or up to temperature waffle iron. Okay, so this is where I'd let your parents take care of that. We've got a waffle mix that has been uh, resting and all ready to uh, be nice and fluffy. So let's begin. So we're going to take the waffle iron. You can see you got the hot. And we're going to use a little cooking spray. Okay, I'm going to spray Mickey's ears a bit. And up on the top and on the bottom. And we're going to pour the mix in in. Alright, so I hope this hope the camera gets a good shot of this. And we're gonna pour this in. Try to stay in the lines guys. The liquid will seek its own level. Just be careful if, if if you want use a use a measuring cup to pour this out. It'll give you a little more accuracy. Let that shake out. As you can see, the design's all filled with the mix. We're going to close the lid and wait five minutes. We'll see you and we are back. Five minutes have elapsed. We got our beep. So let's see how this turns out. First time, folks. Ooh. I'd say that looks pretty good. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So. And let you let your parents uh, take care of that. We're gonna. Uh, here's our plate. Again, excuse this. We are in the remote studios of the Mommy and Gracie show. Also so, known as Mommy's Desk. Also known as Mommy's Desk. So I, I want to get a shout out to Mommy and Gracie for letting me use their studio while uh, Sweet Willis Kitchen is being uh, constructed. All right. So there is Mickey in all his glory. Whoops. Whoops. That's my Mickey. There we go. That's Mommy's Mickey head. <laughs> so, let's talk. What do you guys like to put on your waffles? You, do you like to go with the butter and syrup or just syrup? So, we were talking about the butter. There you go, our regular butter. Now, it's been sitting out for about 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a uh, fighting chance of it being uh, relatively uh, soft. Uh, but here's what you can do is you can take the butter that you intend to use and put it on a microwave uh, proof sheet and only heat it up for maybe about five or 10 seconds. That'll help soften it up. And again, you've already got a hot waffle to help melt things. So we can go with that. Or what I like to use, I like to cut up some fruit and put that on my waffle. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the strawberries and bananas. I love that mix. I love that mix in my smoothies. Uh, and we're gonna go with that. So in my case, I would put, I would just put that, and I would let that sit for a bit because the heat from the waffles. Remember how we melted the cheese? Same, same thing will happen here. Well, you're not going to melt the strawberries, but you're gonna get the strawberries all warmed up, and all the flavors will start to get uh, all infused and uh, tasting all good. So, is there anything else that you think I missed? Uh, did you talk about... Um, oh, let's talk about this. Syrup? Let's talk about syrup. All right. When when you can, I would recommend we use all-natural maple syrup. It's not as sweet as the, uh, the pancake syrups you see with the high fructose corn syrup. And you only have to use a little bit, okay? This is a relatively pretty viscous or pretty runny. And you would put, use that, but I would I would go with that. You would use less, less calories, a little better for you. Also, if you're going to be ingesting any kind of sugar, 
make it a natural sugar. So I'd stick, I'd try to stay away from any of the uh, syrups that have a high fructose corn syrup. Another thing you could use if you are using going the fruit wrap, how about a little bit of honey? There you go. That was the natural sweetener. It's been going on for thousands and thousands of years. So that's something that you might want to consider. It's only one. Try it. If you don't like it, well, maybe you can make another one. So, so that's my tutorial, and that is the uh, the Mickey Head Waffle Iron using the waffle mix coming from my pan waffle mix recipe coming from my uh, pancake. And uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've gotten some good feedback from the last two videos. We've gotten some good comments from the fans, and we want to thank you. And I didn't, and I want to uh, just make a couple mentions. Yes, I did uh, see the comments on the lasagna. Yep, when the kitchen comes to fruition, we will be doing lasagna. We're going to be doing some desserts. I Somebody caught my eye with a, a mango uh, mousse. I've never made it. But it doesn't mean it can't be done, so we'll do it together. Uh, tacos are big. I love tacos. So we have a few ideas on tacos that we'll make. Again, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Uh, so please keep commenting and keep subscribing, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.